Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna test out this fun live catch mouse trap that I've been trying to get my hands on for a while now, and it hasn't been easy finding one. What I like most about this style mouse trap is it's kind of complicated in how it works. It's often referred to as a tinker toy style or a conversation piece, but it does catch mice. It's called the Valve Mouse Trap, also known as the Little Valve. It was first patented by Dave LaForthen on November 29th, 1994. Nowadays, the people who want these most are mouse trap collectors, not people trying to catch mice. But I really wanted to feature this trap on my YouTube channel, so I reached out to the inventor Dave LaForthen, and he was able to send me one, so thank you so much to Dave. He also has a lot of great traps I also want to feature, including a coffin trap for mice, a trap for catching squirrels, and a no spray skunk trap. We're gonna to try to catch the skunks and opossums in the woodshed with that trap. But before we do that, we're gonna catch mice in this video with the valve trap. It's called the valve trap for an obvious reason. The trigger system is a valve that goes up and down. There's a hole in the floor, that's where the mouse enters. They're trying to get the bait on the bait board in the back. That's where you put the peanut butter, cream cheese, something that smells good. To set it, you lift up the valve, tip it on its end. There's a pedal with a wire. You push that down to hold up the valve and you can set it. This is all ready. The mouse will smell the bait, enter through the hole, step on the pad, and when it does, the valve closes and you got him. Then the mouse hangs out inside until you let it go. You lift up the valve, turn it on its side, and the mouse runs out. It's a fun design and I can't wait to test it out with real mice. Let's see if one of the wild pet mice will go in the valve trap and get caught. Well, his tail sticking out, but we got it. It went in there, stepped on the pedal, and the valve went down. I want to go test this out with wild mice, so I'm going to lift up the valve, turn it on its side, let our pet mouse come out. Then we're going to go set the trap up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get wild deer mice. Last night, I set up the valve mouse trap in the barn, and even though there were deer mice, they didn't go inside and trip the trap. So this morning, I moved it to the chicken coop, and we got a house mouse. They come out during the daytime. They're a non-native invasive species, so I'm not going to let them go. But I have had pretty good success taming them, so I'm going to keep this one as a pet. Now, I do have a confession to make. When mice get caught inside this trap, they pee all over it. They pretty much ruin it. And because these are collector's items, I made a fake, a clone. So this is a copy I made. I even printed off a label from the computer. Here's the real one. It's pretty much the same trap and they both work well. But this one's for my mouse trap collection. It's not all covered in mouse poop and pee. And this copy has mouse poop falling all over it. Gross. So let's go put our mouse in its new home. We'll lift up the valve, turn it on its side. Well basically the little valve does catch mice, but it's more a collector's item, not very practical. But DWL brand does make some great traps. One of my favorite is the Red Door Squirrel Trap. I'm testing this out right now. We'll start catching squirrels and rats soon. 
I'm also testing out a larger version called the No Spray Skunk Trap. My biggest problem is I keep catching opossums every night before the skunk gets there. I'm relocating the opossum so hopefully one day I'll get that skunk. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I have over 500 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and maybe even opossums and skunks, stay tuned.